Adisa Baba Fairy Tales and Bedtime Stories for Kids. Once upon a time, there lived a very rich man. He had three daughters. Two of them were really greedy and self-centered girls, but the third one had a heart full of love and kindness. One day, their dad received the news that his ships had sunk due to the storm. Poor man had lost everything and was left with only his little house in the village. The two greedy sisters were of course not pleased with this situation. All day long, all they were doing was sitting around and complaining. All the housework was left to Beauty. After a while, their father heard that one of his lost ships had made it to the harbour. He started to prepare to go to the harbour right away. And before he left, he asked his daughters. What should I bring you when I get back, girls? Dress, shoes, necklace and bracelets. And what about you, Beauty? What do you want? Just the roses fine, Daddy. Their father arrived at the harbour after a long journey, but neither his stuff on the boat was there, nor was the ship usable. Sad and tired, he started his journey back home. It was almost dark when he reached the forest. The forest was dark and cold, and it was snowing. He rode his horse for hours and hours on the snow. Finally, he saw a castle with the lights on. He entered, hoping maybe they might help him. It was a weird castle. The lights were on everywhere. The dinner table was full of food and there was fire in the chimney. But there was no one to be seen. He called out for someone, but no one answered. Finally, not being able to wait anymore, he first ate some food from the table and then he slept in one of the beds. When he woke up in the morning, he found some new clothes next to the bed. He went downstairs a nice breakfast was waiting for him on the table. This castle should belong to a fairy, or she wouldn't help me like this. I wish I could thank her. When he was leaving the castle, he noticed the rose garden. I could not grant my other daughter's wishes. At least I can make Beauty's wish happen, he thought to himself. Just as he picked a rose, he and his surroundings shook with a loud roar. An evil-looking lion-like beast appeared from behind the trees. The father almost fainted when he saw the beast. I saved your life! I fed you! I gave you new clothes! And here you are, stealing my roses. Is this how you thank me? The man went on his knees and begged him. Said that he wanted to take one of the roses to his daughter. What you did will not go unpunished. Please forgive me. I will forgive you with only one condition. Talk to your daughters. If one of them agrees to live here with me, I will grant your life. The man jumped on his horse and sadly head home. When at home, the two greedy sisters listened to the horrific story their dad went through, but did not even hear the beast's proposal. But Beauty did not behave like her sisters. Daddy, if you allow me, I accept to go next to the beast. 
The two sisters immediately accepted her proposal because they thought that everything that happened was her fault. Sad and hopeless, her father took Beauty and head to the castle. When they arrived, everything was like before. The food was on the table and there was no one around. Just as they sat down and started to eat, the beast came out. Beauty started to shake out of fear. Because the beast was as scary as her father had told her, Beast asked with a soft voice. Did you come here with your own will? Um, yes. Then in the morning, your father will go away and never come back. When she woke up in the morning, Beauty knew that her father was gone and she found a nice breakfast waiting for her on the table. She wandered around in the garden for a while. She felt sad when she looked at the roses. Then she went around in the castle. One of the doors was full of roses. She wondered. She opened the door and peeked inside. The room was decorated just like she would have liked and it was full of books, flowers and musical instruments. She thought that someone who can arrange a room like this would not hurt anybody. Then she took a book. On the book was written in gold letters, My dear Queen, your wish is my command. I wish I could see my father now. As soon as Beauty said it, her father appeared in the mirror across the room. Beauty was so surprised seeing her father made her happy again. That night at dinner, Beast appeared again. Would you let me watch you, Beauty? You own the place. Why would you ask me? No, you own this castle now. If you want, I can leave immediately. Beauty was very surprised with his answer. I want to ask you something. Do you think I'm really ugly? At first she did not know what to say. Then she lifted her head to look at Beast and nodded as to say yes. Well... Would you marry me then? This time Beauty answered harshly, No! Beast turned around sad and left Beauty alone. Beast was visiting Beauty every night at dinner and he treated her very kind. As the days passed, Beauty felt like she was getting used to Beast. I wish he wasn't that ugly. Couple months passed. Beauty was no longer scared of Beast. She even started to like him. But one day, she saw in the mirror that her father was ill. She raced next to Beast and asked him to let her go home because she wanted to take care of her sick father. Of course you can go, but if you don't come back, I might die from sadness. I will come back after a week, I promise. Beast gave Beauty a ring. When she would put this ring on her nightstand and fall asleep, she would wake up back in the castle. The next morning she woke up in her own bed in her father's house. She ran to her father at once. When her father saw her, he was so happy that he felt better. In the afternoon, Beauty's sisters, who recently had gotten married, came to visit their father. When they found Beauty at home, they were furious with envy and anger. And they decided to play a little trick on her. Let's make her stay here one more week. Then the beast will come and kill her. The two sisters 
came next to Beauty, crying and told her that they didn't want to be apart. Beauty promised to stay one more week. Not long after, Beauty realised that she missed Beast. One day she saw a dream where Beast was lifeless on the ground in the castle's garden. She woke up in a sweat. What I'm doing is cruel and selfish. So she immediately took the ring off her finger, put it on the nightstand beside her, and she woke up in the Beast's castle in the morning. She waited for the Beast all day long, but he was nowhere to be seen. She waited for hours and hours, but Beast did not come. Suddenly, she went running into the garden. Beast was lying down lifeless on the ground, just like she saw in her dream. Beauty ran next to him and hugged him. Beast's heart was still beating. He rarely opened his eyes and spoke with difficulty. I thought you weren't coming back. I stopped eating and prepared to die. But I love you and I want to marry you. At that instant, something magical happened. Suddenly the castle became brighter and more beautiful. Beauty looked around stunned and then she turned her head back to the beast. But where the ugly beast was lying, now there was a young and handsome prince. When she saw him, Beauty started to cry. Who are you? And where did the beast go? Prince stood up and started to tell. I am the beast. An evil witch put a spell on me. She turned me into an ugly beast. If you hadn't said that you wanted to marry me, I would have had to live my life as a beast forever. When she heard this, Beauty was much happier. With her good heart, she found true love. Beauty and the Prince got married and lived happily ever after.